Welcome back to Dork Points, everybody. This is Ron, and I have a special treat for you this evening. It is the Whales Interactive Bundle, which you can purchase uh, through the PlayStation Store. I think I got it on sale for $17.99. I'm not sure what it is off sale, actually, but it is six games from Whales Interactive, the first being Soul Axiom. And uh, I already did a little video on this, about a 40-minute playthrough, and... Uh, I gotta say, I really dig it. I like the visuals. It's very old school looking, PlayStation 2 or something. It is a puzzle game, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I really liked it. Out of uh, the six games, this is probably, as far as like, because they, they do FMVs and they do game games, and uh, all their games have a very old school look to them, and uh, everything is dated. All the games are dated uh, 2016 so I'm not sure if this company is even still around but uh, Soul Axiom uh, in and of itself is fun if you can see it for cheap get it all right the second game in the Wales interactive bundle is Coffin Dodgers this is basically just a uh, a kart racer and that's about it it's Mario Kart it doesn't handle uh, too poorly it's it's kind of fun uh, but unless you're playing it with uh, your friends, which you wouldn't be because who's going to have this game or know about this game uh, but yeah, unless you're playing it with your friends, it's really not going to be that much fun uh, maybe for little kids or if you have a, a four player couch co-op, you could do it together, but even four players split screen is, uh, is a bit annoying I don't know, it's, uh, it's well done for what it is, but you know who's going to play it, really alright, moving on to the late shift this is definitely the diamond of, uh, it's not the diamond in the rough, I don't want to say all this is crap, but uh, this is the, the pinnacle of perfection as far as I'm concerned with uh, Wales Interactive. They do a lot of FMVs. I'm honestly not sure what that uh, stands for, something movie, but uh, they're playable movies and uh, this one's really interesting. It reminded me a bit of Erica, which I didn't mind. This is actually better than the game Erica, but it's kind of the same thing where you're playing through a move, playing through the movie, and you get different choices, and the choices affect your outcome. And it's a a very male fantasy kind of story. It's you're a parking lot attendant who kind of gets uh, just. A gun to his face and then your night goes crazy from there it all takes place in one night and spins out of control and uh, there are multiple different endings some are bleak and sad and some are really fun and exciting but uh, no matter the outcome you're gonna have fun with this one it's just a little weird uh, and I don't know if you're a gal playing this I, it's not a total male fantasy, but I, I get the feeling that, uh, and again, it's not like Fight Club or anything, but uh, I just get the feeling this is kind of a, a dude story and uh, a fun little uh, robbery, crime kind of fantasy. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you just make the different choices and the movie plays out, and uh, there's seven plus different endings. I've played it uh, three times now. And uh, I've gotten really fun, uh, enjoyable endings that made me want to play it again. And I've had awful, just awful, awful endings that made me irritated and want to play it again as well. So there you go. Late Shift. Check it out. Uh, Infinity Runner is the next game. This is an endless runner. And so that's about it. Uh, you can find this game for super cheap. I think it's a buck or a buck ninety-nine. And I guess it's worth it. Uh, again, like I said, it looks a little cheap, and all these games are dated from 2016, so I don't really know how old this is, but this is all the game is. Is running and choosing your little... You're, you're basically on rails, and you choose your little uh, actions that you're going to do to survive the little moment you're in. And then you run through the maze more, like, like a little mouse. Uh, it's good for what it is. Uh, it's... Short, hard, wait, it's short, short and hard, uh, never mind, uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun little distraction, I was able to beat it, and it was not that easy, so, 
I give a thumbs up. All right, now, this one's a little more complex. This is the fifth of the six games we're going to be talking about tonight in the Wales Interactive Bundle, and this is Knee Deep. And clearly somebody really, really, really loves David Lynch, because that's what they're shoving in your mouth here, people, if you can't taste it already. It's a big David Lynch Twin Peaks love letter. And again, it is kind of a playable movie. You have all these different characters, and you have to talk and react in a certain way. And it's done in this really unique setting where everything is on a stage, and you kind of zoom in and out from each part of the stage and meet each character. And uh, it's just uh, very unique the way they decided to do it that way. And uh, here's the introduction to one of our three main characters. And I would say the problem is, is the characters themselves are downright unlikable. Um, and most of the decisions you have, and even the side characters, are are pretty unlikable. Um, I didn't click with anybody, and uh, honestly, I, I played through the first chapter, and that was about it. Uh, but the interaction here is really interesting. Like, you're a reporter, and you have to send a report, and you're going to choose your angle and your spin, and everything you do has a consequence and changes how the world reacts around you or how the people will answer your next questions when you go and interview them. So that's really interesting. Uh, and again, the setup is really interesting. I just wish the characters weren't just so flat and almost annoying to a certain degree. Uh, so you might really dig this. If, if this is catching your eye right now, you might really dig it, but I, I had to turn it off after a bit. There you go, knee deep. All right, moving on to the final, final game of the evening, The Bunker. It's another FMV, another playable movie. It is not uh, at all like Late Shift. It has a totally different vibe. It's very survivor, survival horror or like personal horror I, I don't know how to put it and the interaction is also very different from late shift uh, there's not really well you have to make choices but it's it's almost more like a point and click kind of movie and you just move the the plot along and the choices don't really change anything I mean if you do the wrong thing uh, you will die and the the movie or the game will end but that's about it and as you can see here the interaction is a little funky um, and you will die a lot just trying to learn the interaction and each little event um, kind of has its own style of interaction but uh, all in all as far as the story goes it's wonderful and it is really fun to play um, and I almost appreciate the fact that it has a totally different vibe than uh, than late shift but out of the two I would say I'd rather play late shift or, or an FMV in that style, the choose your own adventure style. But this was great and very panic inducing, as you can see here. Um, but yeah, there you go. That was the Whales Interactive Bundle. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, did I like it? I guess, yeah. I'd say four out of the six games were really solid and uh, the FMVs were really good. They have another one called The Complex I'd like to check out, but I don't know if I want to deal with disease horror at all anymore <laughs> but there you go all right dark points fully earned that was the whales interactive bundle good night for now